So this is my first time trying peanut butter. I'm really anxious about it. I have a couple family members that have had bad reactions. Ah, yes. I think my daughter just climbed out of her crib. No, 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 no. and see what happens over the next 20 minutes. Now we gotta be quiet. She's gonna go to sleep. Okay. Ah. <laughs> gotta check that rash that you have. Hi, my name is Dr. Rubin. I'm a board-certified allergist. I hope that his baby is doing well. That can be a potentially scary situation. I want to take a few moments to teach you about some considerations when introducing peanuts for babies for the first time, because we have learned fairly recently that earlier introduction of peanut, which is a relatively highly allergenic protein, can help reduce the risk of developing peanut allergy. We used to recommend introducing peanuts later in life, but we're finding that there is a significant risk reduction when introducing it about four to six months of age. You should first talk with your doctor about when it's appropriate to introduce peanut protein. And after you have the go-ahead from them, there are various guidelines and publications you can see online, including the one behind me, which is from the National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, that you can look through for different recipes like the ones behind me to tell you how you're going to introduce peanuts. First, it's important to make sure that your baby is healthy and has no sign of illness when introducing a new food. You should have at least one adult present, ideally at home. I know a lot of people are interested in introducing it right by a hospital. That's not necessary for most people, but I can understand why people would do that. And you want to make sure that you have at least two hours of uninterrupted time where there's adult supervision present to make sure that if there's a reaction that you can do something about it. After you've prepared one of the recipes that's behind me, give a tiny amount to the baby and watch them for about 10 to 15 minutes. If they don't have any reaction, then give the remainder of what's available to them as much as they can tolerate. I have seen several people trying to make a recommendation that you should take a little bit of peanut and put it on the skin to see if they react. That is not a good idea because it could potentially sensitize their skin and it can often confuse people into thinking they have a reaction when they really aren't. Kids can have sensitive skin and it can look like they're having a reaction, some type of contact irritation, but that does not mean that they're allergic. If you see any of the symptoms that are above here, you should definitely be contacting your doctor to get further assistance because this could be signs that they're having some type of allergic reaction to the food.